Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is JT with Legacy Arc Games, and we are back with more Horizons Gate. Yes, I uh, I left the audio on my own channel again. My usual failure. Um, tonight, uh, y well, you guys absolutely should talk in the chat because I will be checking it. But I have to warn you, uh, tonight's episode, well, the iPad's power cord accidentally got plugged in upside down, so uh, just before the episode I found out I only had 5% power, and yeah, the iPad's usually how I keep track of what you guys are saying. So I'm going to have to jump in and out of the game occasionally to see you talking, but I will absolutely do that did that way in the old days and well, well we'll make it through so if you're out there say hi and otherwise if i uh if i delay it all and replying to something you say don't worry about it and from there we'll have fun so what are we doing well uh well, we kind of sort of figured out our plan for class, uh, at least for the main character. Uh, we're thinking of taking the main character down the road of um, uh, a swashbuckler slash tactician. And uh, we're also thinking of taking one of the uh, recruited characters down the path of ruin magic that's something we never touched at all during the um during the original playthrough um i know i kind of want to work someone down to the bat handler class which oddly enough would would uh pretty much pretty much the main character's path of swashbuckler would lead you right to bat handler so it's kind of odd but um, can't really advance past Swashbuckler if you're also going to use Tactician, so um, someone else might have to do that job. Uh, but yeah, um, so after that we decided, um, what, we, what about Kingdom? How are we going to mix up the Kingdom aspect of the game this time? And uh, last time we did Rumane, and we just basically uh, brought, brought supplies, we ran messages, uh, we never fought with anyone, and we just ranked up, you know. Uh, this time around, I want to have more naval, naval combat included in the season, or yeah, in the season. And um, so for that reason, I'm going with Sertial. Uh It was actually a flip of a coin between Sertial and Yaska. Uh, nobody would really say for sure which one they preferred. <laughs> and uh, so I had to choose, uh, you know, roll the die 1d2. And one was Sertial, and we got Sertial. So, we will be fighting ships from either Rumane or Yaska. I don't want to make enemies of them both. That would be a pain in the butt. So, uh, maybe we can get votes on who is my enemy, uh, Rumane or Yaska. And uh, as, I, as I wait for your answers, uh, we're going to continue on our journey towards Sertial. We never made it last night uh, because we got a little bit distracted with a mining dungeon adventure. And as we have sailed up the coast, as you can see, we found our way to our first grove. So yeah, we are going for our first grove adventure of season two. And here we go. I just want to double check where everything is here.
I'm saving up. I can't recall. Um, maybe for Backstabber? I'm not sure. But okay, he's fine. Um, Reeve... Reeve is a tough case because um, I really don't know what I want to do with uh, her job class this game. I suppose Reeve could be the bat handler. <laughs> kind of odd for her, but could be. Warp Blade would not be bad, except that requires uh, all of the magic, uh, except Ruin magic, of course. So, uh, hey, I don't know. And we still have an unlocked Berserker. want to save up for now and get counter or maybe not because well at first I found counter very useful later on I found it kind of a nuisance because I would often hit my allies so hmm. I'm tempted to try brawler this time last time we took Reeve down the um, guardian path Eventually into Ignis Knight. And we had someone else's Kraken Slayer. Uh, I don't know if I like this, but... Uh... We'll get some experience in as a brawler. If only for a thousand fists, I suppose. But probably not even for that long, just, just for the requirement to get to Breaker. Oh, actually... You need 400 experience. Oh, okay, we do have that. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I, I've had a day of days, you guys. Of course, in order to do this, we can't be using her greatsword. Feels wrong to see Reeve without a sword. It just doesn't work. And this, I'm thinking, is going to be my little Ruin Mage. But they need some more experience. Hagger is gonna go... as soon as I find a, an exotic replacement. And so will this guy, probably. Maybe. Being a little cutthroat, I guess. Okay, let's see what's in this grove. And remember, look at everything because... You can get paid for it. Just one tile away from being able to shoot him before combat. Of 
We really don't have a defined tank, so that might be one of the people we recruit. And who's out there watching tonight? You guys, feel free to say hi. I am checking the chat. That's actually kind of lucky. Can it miss? Ah. Dirty on, we unlocked Sage for two of them. Not bad. Hey, Game Zero. Um, I don't know if you saw, but uh, I um, I uh, plugged my iPad in. Well with the plug upside down for some reason it still connects but uh it wasn't charging all day so it's down to five percent i'm having to jump in and out of the game uh to check chat here on the laptop so if i miss your messages or if i'm at all delayed in replying don't worry i am watching for them and i'll get to you and I was going to ask, I took a vote actually, I haven't heard from anyone, but I'm taking a vote on um, which country ships I should attack once I join Sershal. Should it be Romane or Yaska? Because I don't want to become an enemy of both. That would be a pain. Let me know what you think.
Okay, so you vote for Yaska. That's uh, one vote for Yaska, and uh, if nobody else speaks up, that's going to be the enemy. Um, the other thing I was wondering is uh, one of my mages this game is going to do ruin magic, the unmaker, and the uh, class after that because I didn't use Ruin Magic at all our first playthrough and I'm wondering which magic skill, if any, applies to Ruin Magic. I wonder what I would train in. Because as you can see I'm looking right now at mage skills for this this character. That's not the one I'm going to use, but just thinking. Ah, I see, okay. You can train Ruin Magic in their classes, says Game Zero. So, we will have to earn our way into that class. For now, we'll give this guy some lightning skill. Since he has a lightning spell. Scholar's a very nice class overall, I think. I think this guy is going to end up being our, um, our ruin element offensive person. And, um, either whoever I replace Hagger with, or... Whoever I replace this guy with will be our our sage, and then I will um, divide duties between protective magic and um, and uh, enchanting and so on and so forth, all that good stuff. We might do a warp blade this time be interesting. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with Reeve. Could do Bat Handler would be odd. <laughs> but could do. Because yeah, we just did a fight with Reeve as a brawler, but well, one, I didn't really like it very much, but two, um, I just can't see Reeve, you know, as anything but the classical sword-wielding character, you know? So I'm not sure what to do. I don't want to make her be the tank again. Okay, and for those who don't know, this is the whole point of groves. They have a fossil, usually, that you can look at uh, once you get past the first part. Or 
uh, parts, depending on how big the grove is. And these fossils are very valuable when you go and report things you found to the researcher. Great way to make money going to groves and um, just looking at stuff, looking at fossils and monsters and so forth. Try if you can to look at the monsters before they start a fight with you. Uh, it's easy that way. What do you think I should do with Reeve as a class, Game Zero? Because uh, you you probably remember last game she was very committed um, Ignis Knight slash Guardian and um, yeah I don't know if I want to do that twice. Ah, uh, well, we are, how do you say, very poor at the moment, so... We can really only browse. Sad. Time for us to get gainfully employed. Here's our new home. Feels weird for it to not be Rumane. Ah, Sirth, capital of Sershold. I've been here a few times as a diplomat, and a few other times as a tourist. Not the cleanest city, but I like it anyway. Since when's clean got to do with liking something? Oh, hacker. Not, not cool. Ah, uh, yes, I remember this guy. The one who always has the really expensive stuff. That we're nowhere near ready to buy just yet.
I always wonder why they didn't do more shops like this where um, they had the items laid out on the table with the price. I think that's kind of fun, you know, compared to just um, doing a menu. And anyway, since they're laid out here, we can look at all of them. Get ourselves some extra cash. You made Reeve into a hammer throwing shift cloak. Wow. That is a departure. I have trouble from. Um, I have trouble not seeing Reeve as the classical sword wielding armored figure, you know? Hmm. I am curious about Bat Handler, though. I mean, my main character is going to get, um, it's going to be pretty far down that tree anyway, because they have to get a swashbuckler, which of course leads to Minstrel, which leads to one of the requirements for Bat Handler being fulfilled. But that means just uh, copying that all over again to make Reeve a bat handler instead. While my main character remains focused on swashbuckler and tactician. So it's kind of repetitive, I don't know. I mean, I just tried Reeve as a brawler and I, I, I wasn't so fond of it. And yeah, you, I, I also thought about Warp Blade. Um, the only thing holding you back from Warp Blade is that it's really... Um, basically, you're all the magic before you're ever actually doing a Warp Blade things. <laughs> uh, you're except for the ruin magic classes you're, you're you got to do the whole magic tree practically to qualify for that um i mean i could hmm hmm difficult call Well, for right now, we're in the right class for it, which is Gladiator, and then after that, we need to work down um, to Gatekeeper, which is, like I said, everything magical. Get the, the special.
Hagger, you're out once again. I'm hiring this other Bosman here. Before I do that, if you would, please put your stuff in the stash. Thank you very much. Oh, you can keep the armor, I suppose. some uh, cheaper armor but I suppose there is no cheaper armor than this okay And we'll still try to, to uh, diversify this a little bit more once we find some more exotic folk out there. Unfortunately, I can't permanently dismiss Reeve or um, Hagger or I would just kick Hagger I'm not a fan which reminds me uh, the question of what we are doing with this new guy Well, for now, we've got, um, I'll keep him in Sailor until he can get Smelling Salts. I like that for, uh, a base, uh, second class ability. Kind of like that. And then after that, um... Well, we did Storm Shot and Spell Archon last time. Um, this character might be our healer mage. I think. Yeah, it might be. Because Reeve, one way or the other, is going to train into Guardian some. And uh, probably I'm going to look at Warp Blade so she'll learn all kinds of magic. A uh, long road ahead of her to get to Warp Blade. And Vos Evia here, well, he is a scholar, but he's going to be, I think, our ruin mage. And he needs a little more scholar experience to do that job. So 
just wanted to make sure no one else had unspent uh, stars. Sorry I'm moving slowly, guys. It's been one heck of a day. Sorry for being annoying looking at everything, but uh, I want that money. class can we learn here um ah the guardian that's uh, that's good we need that but we can't afford it i'm sure 150 um yeah sorry i can't Excuse me one moment. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that guys, I uh, took a sip of water and it went down the wrong way. Like I said, heck of a day, wow. Admin Ovar. Welcome, JT. What business do you have with the council? Well, I wish to pledge my service. Oh, JT, you would like to serve the Social Alliance? Very good. All in good standing are welcome. We do require 100 coin fee as a gesture of sincerity, after which you would, ha you would for all intents and purposes, be considered a citizen of Sershal. Never mind. <laughs> I can't even afford to buy my way in. I think Romane had a nicer palace. Don't tell them I said anything.
Oh, it's a Baroque Bugman. I'm gonna hire one of you. So let's see, what can we do quickly? Get some money. Well, first of all, we can sell some stuff. See if we can scratch together some cash by... Oh, right, we have that bullion, I forgot. Well, that solves a lot of problems right there. But well, we are already starting to um, accumulate the junk like the last time. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we could try the dojo. Well, we at least got enough from, um... That bullion we brought up from the south to earn our way into the kingdom. So we'll go ahead and do that. And here is your uh, loyalty pledge fee. Excellent, let me grab these forms to sign here and here. Fill this out, please. And this. Sign this here. And your full name, please. Very good. Consider yourself officially a civil servant of the Social JT. Look at that, we have a sparkly civil servant rank. And we unlock some jobs. Not bad. Well, let's see, um, this is the one I wanted to learn Ruin Magic, so we'll go ahead and put him in Sorcerer so that he can get into Unmaker. Let's just take a look um, at uh, Scholar first, see if he has anything good that we can afford. Yes, he does. Frost, I found, was a very good spell. Of course, I'm not going to rely too much on the old tactics because the whole goal of uh, Season 2 is to do everything a little bit different, to try new things.
And yeah, we could sell the raw iron game zero to get enough. Um, I'll just see how much it's worth once I, um, uh, once I, uh, offer all of it to him. I'm waiting for Backstabber as far as um, rogue abilities go. And then we'll jump over to Sharpshooter. Or once we've unlocked it anyway with um, the Scout. And then we will be going into Swashbuckling. And I don't think we'll go into Minstrel. But I'm not positive on that. I don't know. We'll see how the swashbuckler slash tactician idea works out. Um, let's see who else. Uh, this new person I'm thinking is going to be our healer slash protector. I like, um, I like the, this race for, um, the mages because they cannot be silenced. And of course, you really especially don't want your healer to be silenced at a bad time. Which I did have happen more than once. So, um, yeah. Don't want that. Hmm.
I think I think scholarship is a good choice for um, for scholar, but uh, or spellcasting, but oh, I don't know. And uh, yeah, feeling a little bit tired. Game Zero. Um, it was uh, a busy day. Okay, we've unlocked the Guardian class. It's as pretty much as easy as what you just saw. Walk into the building, give them some coins, and you get the Guardian class. And may I say, it is an excellent class, really. Um, I played not all of them, but most of them on my first playthrough, and I would say the Guardian... I used most of their abilities 99% um, of the time. Um, the only time when that really changed was when I decided to have um, Reeve go into Ignis Knight. And when I did that, I still kept Guardian as my secondary class. It's just great for... Um, uh, obviously for protecting both yourself and uh, your allies and it's got some nice utility in there as well so definitely worth the 150 coins These guys, on the other hand, want uh, a ton of money out of you to learn to be a gatekeeper, which is, uh, well, that's frustrating, of course. I want to be a gatekeeper now. I don't even have the experience to. But if you come back to them later down the road, well, they need a student and they're willing to lower their price if it's you. that mithril vest but uh, well if you're broke you're broke
So I'm reminded one of the things we need to do now that we have signed on with um, with Sertial is we need to sign on with a researcher and a cartographer as soon as is possible. And neither of them, unfortunately, are in the capital here. Runewald was very convenient for that. I'm going to miss being a... Uh, I'm going to miss being a citizen of Runewald. But fortunately, I think I remember where to go to get ourselves situated as far as, oh, there's another job class building, but if I'm not mistaken, really, I thought the, um, I thought the guild was here for, for, um, gosh, I don't have my words tonight. Uh, I thought the guild was here for research and cartography. Maybe it was further along. Hello again, Game Zero. Did you leave? I'm really annoyed that I uh, didn't plug in my iPad properly earlier. I I've gotten really used to seeing you guys chat in real time without having to flip back and forth and yeah that's an annoyance actually maybe I'm wrong maybe it, we want to be Not in Grand Surf, but... More like over here. There's our cartographer. See, do, do cartography for me. If you form a contract, I'll pay you whatever you fill out or, or whenever you fill out more of your map. Remember, your map work is only to be shared with me. You can terminate the contract if you change your mind for a small fee, but even then you cannot share anything sold to me with other cartographers. That sound agreeable? Well, yeah, okay. Excellent, I look forward to working with you. Stop by any time to report on your progress. And yes, every uh, bit of the map you find that is new 
Well, whenever you do that, you can uh, just come back here to the cartographer and they will give you some cash for your work. So you've explored 9.1% of the world, which is also a good way to uh, find out if you're missing stuff out there is, well, uh, how much have we not explored? Oh, 910 coins, thank you. And there's a painting in here. Always look at the paintings, they are worth money to the, um, to the researcher. So have the specialty, please. And what class did they teach here? Uh, new face, eh? Come here. Hmm. There's hardly a scratch on you. So I can tell you're a rookie. Ah, we can unlock Berserker with this one. 150, there you go. Class unlocked. So now we have Berserker if we should choose to go that path. Uh, say, Game Zero, do you recall where um, the researcher for Sertial is? Because uh, where we are is, um, is where the cartographer is, but I can't recall where the researcher is. And I, I just went um, west because I thought it was west from Sertial for sure. But no. Port of Type. Okay, that's a little out of the way, isn't it? Nothing is as convenient here as it was in um, Rumane. Steel weapons, one day we'll be able to afford you. Ooh, a focus stone, yes please. Who among our casters is actively casting? Uh, well, let's see, you are going to need some help pretty soon. For now, you can have uh, 
Scholar is a subclass, but you're going to need some help after that when you move into your Ruin Magic career. Okay. A little sip of water there. Uh, we've got uh, Anvil here, but uh, really no special materials to do anything with. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, I suppose we could make some... Actually, no, we can't, because uh, we don't have any... Yeah, we're a little lacking for um, blueprints. Not good. Okay, here's our researcher for Sertial. If you're new to the game, well, each country has its own researcher and its own cartographer. Um, nothing says that, uh, or at least as far as I know, nothing says that if you like were to go to Romane as your kingdom that you have to use the um, the researcher or the cartographer that lives near Rumane, for example, uh, you could use the one near Sertial if you wanted to, or uh, near Yaska. It's just that you're gonna, well, I think you're going to end up getting uh, bonuses with the wrong faction as far as your reputation and stuff could be wrong about that it, maybe it would travel back to um, your parent kingdom even if you're not with the aligned researcher or uh, cartographer I'm not sure but anyway uh, what this guy does is if you happen to uh, look at something new like, Which you do with the L the L key if you're using keyboard and mouse Like right here. I just looked at this book nature of the void and It's a one star Entry in my journal and of course the more stars something is The more it's going to be worth when you finally bring all this to the cartographer and every so often, once you've updated your journal with new stuff, and remember to look at everything, because you never know when it's going to have a star value, then um, you can, again, return to the uh, researcher, and they will just take a look at the new stuff, not the old stuff as well, and uh, pay some more cash. It's a good way to get money. Forty-seven records of mundane objects. They pay me one hundred and forty-one coins. Uh, no complaints. Thirty-four reports of oddities worth eight hundred and fifty coins. Fourteen fairly interesting discoveries. Years two. 1,100 coins, wow. You discovered the anti-air, take this 350, okay. Discovered the sealed door, here's 500. 
discovered the perfect bone for 1,250. We discovered the seven stones. Here's 300. Wow. Wow. That was a lot. So let's see, you, yeah, you're, you're going to need some more time in Sorcerer before you can do Unmaker, unfortunately. But at least I got you enough for a spell. Now, I don't know if I want to keep uh, this guy or not. Honestly. I mean, the idea was more to keep this guy and have him, uh, he, him, <laughs> have him be the, um, the healer because I, I like the masked people because you can't silence them and that's really good for a caster, of course, and they act a little bit quickly, I believe. Gonna have to get him some experience so he has some magic. That is one thing I wish for. Um, that experience would spread out even to people who aren't in the active party, like just across the board, you know, so everyone stays useful. Just a thought. But for now, I will pop the uh, armor onto this new person. And let's see. Well, for our established magic person over here, oops, just dropped that shield, I think, but no big deal. Um, for our established magic person here, We're going to uh, give them the Focus Stone. What's a Focus Stone do? Well, you use it uh, to recover magic points. It's one of the few ways to do it in combat other than the uh, prayer ability that you learn as a scholar, uh, which is a pretty staple ability as a scholar. But unfortunately, you can't stay a scholar forever if you want to advance at all. You can see right there was new entry gravestone, so I go over here. I, this is pointless, but go over here to Mbar and report and he gave me 25 coins for reporting an oddity apparently gravestones are to him an oddity I was wondering if there was something hiding up there in the grass, but no.
really have anyone using a spear, so why don't you use a spear? That would be nice. Okay, now that we have seen the researcher, let's uh, go up and fulfill a fan request, which was to attempt the dojo. I, and if memory serves, I think we're going to get our butts kicked. But we'll find out. Let's save before we do this. Okay, we unlock Warden, that's our defensive magic uh, class, very nice class to have. Are you Victor? You're human, really? That is a wild haircut for a human. Thought you were a wild dairy or something. And by the way, keep an eye out for these paintings on the walls. They're uh, they're really easy to miss, surprisingly. And um, they're usually worth at least a couple stars when you go in and report to the researcher. The Dojo of the Flying Rock. Be prepared for combat from the first moment. And uh, since I just got that job, I'm going to save again and again, because I always keep a backup of my save now. Never know when you'll make a mistake. And boom, straight into, uh, straight into combat. Oh, they have uh, an enchanter already. Ouch. Yeah, ouch. First attack, they uh, just about killed that character. We're dead. Whoops. No, 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 no. Yeah, well, if my main character wasn't there, I could lightning bolt them, but... Uh, sadly... Let's go ahead and use first aid on this guy. Actually, we could 
move Ryu over here. Whoops. So that the great sword hits them both. And by the way, thank you for the info, uh, Game Zero, on the fact that we can use different, um, different cartographers and researchers. I wasn't sure if, um, well, I mean, I knew you could, but I wasn't sure if the, uh, the reputation you would gain from it was tied to, uh, the kingdom that they live in. I wasn't sure about that. I think this poor guy is a goner. Although, frankly, I think my entire party is a goner. We're just not ready for this. And they blinded Reef. Wonderful. My goodness. First aid. And Reeve shall help us out by. Oh man, okay, I was hoping we might take that. Um... Caliburn down uh, this round, but no such luck. In fact, very close. Oh no, that guy's a sleep weapon. Sorry about this, but uh, having three of them in a line like this, uh, it's too good. Oh, why didn't I put bandages on them? Uh? Dumb of me. Let's demoralize them, huh? That might help.
and uh, down goes another of our guys. Yeah, we weren't ready for this JoJo, but uh, we did better than I thought we would. Considering... No, oh, actually, let's, uh, let's stay where we are. So we can hit two. Sadly, we have no access to the stash during combat, at least, or I would be able to revive. I don't know why I didn't take care of that first. Definitely not ready. But as you can see, the, through the magic of save scumming, we are good as new. Okay, everybody. Um, with that little fun, fun test of our abilities in the dojo, where we did get uh, further than I thought we would, um... Well, we're going to call it here, I think, and the video already has a thumbs down. Oh, my. Um, well, I'm sorry to see that as always, but, uh, well, as I said, we're going to call it here for the night. Um, I really appreciate, as always, Game Zero attending the stream, giving us some good information. That uh, will be helpful to uh, those of you out there who are new to the game and very often to me as well. Um, so, uh, here's the spiel. Uh, Legacy Art Games uh, aims to entertain everybody, especially during these really stressful times with the coronavirus epidemic, but the, uh, the secondary goal of our channel is to support chronically ill and disabled gamers and spread a positive message about them. So if you want to help me out with that, well, just hit that like button, please. Uh, give us a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see more content like this, and we do play a diverse range of games, then, uh, well, click that subscribe button. I, I try to get something out every day. And, um, well, I hope you'll enjoy it. So, you guys, uh, that's it for tonight. Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching the stream. And for those of you who catch it later as a Let's Play episode, well, feel free to leave any comments on... Um, whether you think I should attack Yasuka ships or Rumane ships. Let's see who wins. And, uh, well, that will be it. So you guys have a very pleasant evening. And uh, to whoever gave me the thumbs down, well, I'm really sorry you did not enjoy the episode. I really am. I, I try hard. Anyway, off I go to get some rest, 
and hopefully tomorrow will be a better day with a better episode. Hey, you guys take it easy, stay safe out there, and look forward to uh, seeing you again. Have a good one.